Hello, welcome to Spitfire Mods. Today we're going to do a teardown on a 410 uh, Blu-ray drive for a PS3. Remove the daughter card from the inside and install the daughter card from our system. Uh, this is a unit that maybe you're swapping or you're buying a replacement unit for a defective Blu-ray. So, the first thing you do is remove your Blu-ray drive. Um, there's videos uh, we have a video, a complete teardown. You can follow the instructions there to get your Blu-ray drive out. Then you're going to remove the two screws on the on the rear of the drive, and then two of the outer screws on the front of the drive. Uh, to speed this video up, we removed the screws already so that it would go faster. So then you remove your your outside shell. After you remove that, you're then going to remove the one screw in the front of the bottom plate. Take that off, and then this is your daughter card. There's going to be two screws in the daughter card holding that on. You're going to remove both of those. Once those are removed, you can remove your tabs. There's a pull tab on the left side. There's two release, actually one release for the uh, the laser ribbon cable and then a pull tab on the right right upper side for the um, stepper motor or spindle controller. Okay, once you have your board out, you're going to get your replacement board. You're going to put that in place. Then you're going to reverse the process. You're going to insert your tab. Then lifting your lever, you're going to put the uh, the laser ribbon cable in, and then you're going to insert your other tab, and then secure the uh, the daughter card with the two screws. Once that's done, take your lower cover, you're going to drop the back down and then pull it to the front so it fits snug, flip the drive over, um, actually before you do that you put the two screws in on the outside of that, then you're going to take your top cover and slide the front into place first and then lower the back. You're going to make sure your sides are actually on the, the sides of this cover are actually on the outside of the lower tray otherwise it's not gonna want to drop down all the way. Once that's in place, check to make sure your front's in there. Sometimes it does not come down low enough when you slide that on. Okay once that's in place put your rear screws and your front screws in and then reinstall your Blu-ray back into the unit following the teardown instructions and the rebuild instructions. Thanks. 